The last tool that I want to show you that you have available in your group space is called the collaboration space. So if we click on collaborations, this is a really helpful tool in that it allows you to group edit documents and um, there's some special features built within that that are really helpful um, for group management as well. So we have to click start a new collaboration, then you title your document. Again, the default is that everyone in your group will see your um, collaboration document. If you'd like to collaborate with just one or a few members of the group, click on that group member and um, they will be added to your collaboration side. If you want to remove someone, just simply scroll over their name and click the red X. Then click Start Collaborating. Next click Create Pad. This takes you to a tool that's very similar to Google Docs if you have used that before. When you first start within this tool, click on the Enter Your Name box in the upper right hand corner. This will identify all of your edits with your name and this color text. As you can see, the text that I started typing has a background color of teal that matches my name. Once others start adding their um, input, their name and background color will display within the pad. Within this uh, document creation, you can save your revisions. So this also allows you to go back and forth among saved revisions of this document. So if, as you're working on this, if you find that the document is going in a direction that you don't like, you can go back to a previous version and use that one instead. You can also use this time slider tool. This will allow you to look at the edits over a period of time. So if you want to double check and see where something got added or deleted, this is a really great tool to check on that um, document construction. Another great feature of the Etherpad is that you can export it as a Word document. To do that, click Import Export and then Microsoft Word. So you can take all of the thoughts that you've uh, gathered as a group and then export as a Word document to do some of the formatting changes before you submit it as an assignment. Okay, that's a quick overview of all of the group collaboration features within Canvas. If you have any questions or if you have difficulty using the group collaboration tools, feel free to contact our virtual campus. If you go to bucks.edu, click on e-resources, then click virtual campus. This will take you to their home page and on the right hand side you'll see all the different ways that you can contact the Help Center at our virtual campus office.